Good day, everyone. So thank you for watching sa ating first lecture. So let's proceed sa other lecture or follow-up lecture natin which talks about directional terms used in anatomy. So commonly, ang atong nakabalaan ng mga directions is the north, south, east, west, northeast, northwest, and so on. So in anatomy, it's a different story. So paano natin na siya i-discuss or ano na siya ang mga directions? So let's discuss this one by one. So before anything else, you can follow my cursor kanin red. So tanawa din ninyo ha kaya para ma-emphasize ninyo ang akong gina-lecture. So let's proceed danay sa mga planes. So there is a dalawta. So, ano ni siya ang mga planes? Actually, these are imaginary planes nga ga-divide sang body sa isa ka-animal. So, take note, imaginary plane ha. So, number one is the transverse plane. So, ano ni siya transverse plane? So, the transverse plane is the plane or imaginary plane that divides the body into cranial and caudal portions. So, this is another transverse plane, transverse plane. So, ano na siya? And then, frontal plane ang horizontal line. So, take note ha, transverse plane, transverse plane, ang isang vertical, and then ang frontal plane, which divides the body into dorsal and ventral parts, ang muna siya. So, dili naman ta sa median plane and the sagittal plane. So, take note, median plane is the imaginary plane that divides the body into equal half. So, ang muna siya. And then the sagittal plane any vertical line kung ang any vertical line nga except sa median plane so i take note yun na sagittal plane any vertical line aside sa median plane and the median plane is the imaginary plane that divides the body of an animal into half bisan sa human so let's proceed na sa mga specific ng mga direction so proceed to direct Cranial, take note, cranial is the direction towards the head. And then caudal, which pertains to the direction towards the tail. Take note, cranial towards the head, caudal towards the tail. How about above and under? So take note, direta sa dorsal and ventral. So kung sa dalong sang parts ng animal, that is ventral. If sa babaw, that is dorsal. So ang muna siya pag -inos. And then, aring proximal and distal, ano ni siya? So, take note nyo ha, halin sa, or kung if ang direction is halin sa tips ang appendages towards the center of the body, that is proximal. Pero, from, if ang direction is from the center of the body to the appendages, that is distal. So, take note ha, Dorsal, babaw, ventral, dalo, proximal, towards the center of the body, and then distal, away. So, how about kung sa ulo naman ta, kay, that is, mga balta cranial, cranial, doka awkward naman. So, if halin mismo sa base of the head, up to the tip of the nose, or pang direction halin sa base of the head to the tip of the nose, that is postral. So, paano natin siya i-apply? For example, aring tail. In reference to the ears. So we can say that the ears is located cranial to the tail. Kaya nga, ano yung sa likod si tail and then pakanto sa ulo, no? cranially. And then in, on the other hand, so the tail is located caudal to the ears. Okay? Ano yung sa likod. So as the same there is sa face, so let's proceed sa nose and sa eyes. So we can say that the nose is located rostral to the eyes. Sakay, atubang man sa mata ang ilo. On the other hand, the eyes is located caudal to the nose. Okay, patalik ko naman. Take note, kung halis sa base of the head, pat ato sa nose is rostral, pero kung other way around, that is still caudal. So, dere, cranial, caudal, cranial, caudal. So, it pertains sa atubang, cranial, caudal, ang muna siya. And then sa feet naman, take note nga dorsal ang term kung gapa at tubang. Kay in reference sa frontal plane man siya. So you can assume nga ang di ano ni, is divided into the dorsal and the ventral. Pero kung sa forelimb gani, take note nga that the front part is the dorsal and then the back part is 
term as palmar. So kung sa tao pa, pa sa ang analogies sa tao, take note ang palm naton. So kita niyo sa akong nga video ha. So dorsal, palmar. Okay, pertains to palm para tapos. Next is dorsal plantar. So take note, dorsal sa tubang. And then kung sa tiil na or sa hind limb, that is plantar. So that's it. So hopefully nga uh, gets ninyong apod nga lecture. And if you have any questions, you can drop it sa add-on comment section. And for those na wala pa ka-subscribe, pwede na ako subscribe sa akong channel for further lectures. So thank you so much and God bless.